Hi friends, how are you doing? Hopefully all of you are very well. I am also well. This is a new set which has come to me. As you all can see that this model is a 383. This particular record player is having a DC motor and a mono amplifier. You can see the controls. There are only two controls. One is volume another is tone. Uh, this set is having some uh, issue with the speed. I am showing you. I have given power to it already. Now this set can play only 33 rpm and 45 rpm. You can see that. Now I am selecting it to 33. Now I play it. Please check. The speed in which it is moving is much faster than 33 and also 45. It seems to be like 70 or 80 rpm. So this is the problem this set is having primarily. So I have to check that. This is the inside of the platter. You can see this is the idler wheel or idler pulley. This is the step pulley and this is actually the motor on which the step pulley is fixed and these are the switches as because this is a dc motor so the dc voltage comes through this switch and get connected to the motor so this is the mechanism now i will open the set this is the motor this is a transformer this is a switch and this is a board amplifier board as well as the governor unit for this motor so i have to check the governor unit along with the motor because the issue is lying inside this governor unit and uh, in motor so i have to check where are the problems that i have to fix i can show you i found this wire is open not connected to anything i have to check from where this wire came and i have to fix it properly so let's check the set one by one one thing I just want to show you here, if you check this, this is a red wire and this is a black wire which has gone to the motor. Now the thing is this, you can see here it is written as M plus M minus. That means the positive and the negative uh, connections are taken for the motor from these two points. You can see there is one wire which has been, this is the ground by the way this is the ground of this set so what i can see you just see here from this m minus one wire is connected and it has been uh, soldered here in the ground now my question is this if this need to be ground then why this print lining will be here and this is this will be written as m minus there should be one m plus and the another connection we can take from any point where we found, find the ground. So this connection is not the correct one. I believe this set has been uh, earlier given to someone who uh, actually done this. But this is not the correct thing to do. The, this motor will not work like that. It is having a special governor unit for this speed regulation. This is the amplifier board. You can see it is TBA820. It can give around maximum of 2 watt of power if you are using 12 volt but while you are using 9 volt you will get around 1.2 watt output approximately if you are using 8 ohm speaker uh, and if you are using a 4 ohm speaker then it will give around 1 watt. But uh, this is the amplifier section you can see all the electrolytic capacitors has been changed by me and uh, there are two capacitors you can see I have changed these are the PF type uh, because the older ones are uh, actually broken up to some extent i just want to show you if you can see here is the broken part so it might get broken at any point of time you can see this one also there is a broken line but the main thing is not the amplifier unit the main thing is the governor unit this unit what was the issue i just i'm just i'm going to tell you uh, this is a transistor with the uh, number of the transistor if i would like to show you bc328 it's a pnp transistor this was actually a defective at the same time, you can see there is a diode, it's a Darmanium type diode D2C. Uh, there are a pair of diode actually uh, regulates this voltage along with these two transistors. So uh, this transistor is BC148A, you can see. And there is a preset. 
of 100 uh, ohms. Uh, this D2C, uh, there are two diodes actually. One diode is actually damaged, this one. This D2C diode was damaged and nowadays you won't get this D2C diode. So I have uh, fixed it uh, here, the 18 volt Zener and also fixed a new uh, BC328 PNP transistor along with all the electrolytic capacitors. Now I hope the issue will be resolved. Now one thing I just want to show you, earlier we have checked that one connection, the ground was sorted with this M-. minus. If you do this, what will happen, the motor will rotate all the time. You can't be able to stop the motor. M minus will get the ground connection of course, but it will go through the switch and switch will be regulated by the arm. When the arm goes to the end of the record, it will disconnect this ground connection and the motor will stop. And when we pull the arm in the right hand side to start the record, at that point of time it will connect the ground with this M minus and at that point of time the circuit will be active and the motor will rotate. So this is how it works. Guys, this is the switch of which I was talking about earlier this switch will disconnect the ground connection from the m minus point and will also connect it with the m minus point and you can see there are three wires these three wires from where uh, where this will go one will go to the battery negative another will go to the m minus and another will go to the chassis negative which will be connected with the negative point of the board so these are the three connections will come in contact with each other and will disengage each other this will be uh, done by the arm please check the reading of the meter this switch now in condition where the negative points will be engaged with each other so i should get a continuity here but i am not getting any continuity it is showing approximately 46k and if i connect it here also i am getting 51k and this is the reason for which maybe the earlier technician has grounded that M minus directly from the board. So the problem is with this switch. So I will dis uh, disassemble this switch from this uh, from this place and will check whether I can do anything better uh, for this uh, switch or not. After repairing the switch, now I am checking the switch. Please look into the meter. You can see. It is showing 10 ohms. This is actually the fault of my meter prop. It's not actually 10 ohms. It is uh, 0 ohms. When I'm connecting it with the green wire, it is also, sh also showing. So that means the switch is working right now. So now I need not to connect the ground of the board directly with the M minus. I can use this switch as it should be. Now you can see this is the motor. Two wires come from this motor. These are the two wires of the motor one is red one is black red one goes to m plus and the black one goes to m minus and there is another wire you can see yellow in yellow color this is also attached here and this wire is going to the switch i will show you later and the other two connections of the switch are one is the chassis ground another is the battery ground so when the set will be played through battery, the battery ground will come to the switch and will connect and disconnect with this M minus point. And when it will be powered through AC, the chassis ground or the board ground will go through the switch and connect and disconnect in M minus point. So this is how it should work. I have released the tension of this spring also. The tension was very high generally the tension should not be so high so i have released the tension a bit another thing i just want to show you please check here you can see this has been bent in the right hand side it should not be like that it should be either straight or bent a slightly right or left side depending upon the calibration because this lever helps in auto stop if you do like that the player will never auto stop so I have to make it proper also. You can see now the switch connections. This is the yellow wire. This wire is connected in M minus in the board and from where the black wire goes to motor. So this is here. When the switch will be releasing the connections, it will stand alone. And when it will engage with the ground, 
then what will happen it will go directly to the engage with the black wire which is the chassis ground when you will play it uh, through ac line and if you are playing it through battery it will connect it with the green wire that is the battery ground so now the switch connections are okay another thing i just want to show you this pulley actually was fixed in this set generally this is a big type of pulley philips has a two type of pulleys one is a big one another is small one in cases of dc motors philips generally uses the small pulleys in cases of ac motor philips generally uses the big pulleys it doesn't make much difference but still a bit different because the motor shape and the spindle step pulley uh, sizes are different and the distance from the uh, platter uh, of the pulley rubber pulley uh, and the step pulley actually matters so i have to uh, arrange a small uh, rubber pulley and then i will fix it another problem i found this is a lock you can see this is a lock but this lock is actually broken you can see this this lock is actually broken so if i fix this pulley with this lock it is not going to be proper so i have to arrange another lock and i have to fix the small pulley here and over it the lock and then i will play the set and check the speed so let's do that friends uh, this is a coil inductor coil this coil was inside the governor unit while i was testing i found that this coil actually gone i had one coil with me and i replaced this one with that new one and after that the set becomes okay now i will show you the final test of the speed as well as the audio friends this is the final testing this is a 45 rpm record i won't play the song because of the copyright act so this is how <coughs> the this video comes to an end as you can see that this player is now working exactly the way it should be hopefully you like my video if you please like and subscribe my channel and uh, if you have any sorts of comments regarding the restoration of this video you may comment me and uh, take care of yourself uh, goodbye before the next video thank you